Good afternoon, this is Bridget with the National Weather Service in Slidell, Louisiana, and here's your Sunday weekly weather outlook for November 13, 2022. Overall, colder temperatures are expected for the area this week. In particular, areas along and north of Lake Pontchartrain could reach freezing, especially tonight. We'll have a couple days where we should be safe from freezing, and then that'll start happening again starting Thursday into the weekend. There's also some rain chances possible Monday night into Tuesday, and then on and off chances again starting on Thursday. Here's a seven day forecast for some selected areas in our area. I'll go ahead and start from the top left. For Baton Rouge, the best rain chances will be again Monday night, and it'll start tapering off on Tuesday. Temperatures, high temperatures will be generally in the 60s, bumping down into the 50s, and then by the time we get into Sunday, it'll be around low 60s again. The low temperature tonight, we're looking to be in the mid 30s. It'll go up to maybe about mid 40s tomorrow, so that'd be Monday night. And then after that, they'll be stuck in the 30s, like mid to upper 30s for the rest of the week. On and off chances of rain start Wednesday night with about 10 to 20% chance, basically each day, Thursday through Sunday. Moving on to New Orleans, it'll be a little warmer here with high temperatures around the 60s starting tomorrow and Tuesday. It'll go back down into the 50s Wednesday through Saturday and then peak right above 60 again on Sunday. For the low temperatures, we'll be generally in the 40s all the way around. Sometimes it'll be in the mid 40s, sometimes it'll be in the low 40s, but uh, there should be no threat of freezing in the city. For, uh, for rain chances, again, the best chances will be Monday night into Tuesday. Monday night has a, basically an 80% chance of rain. Rest of Tuesday into Wednesday should be dry, but heading into Thursday through Sunday, it'll be on and off chances, 10 to 20% chance of rain. For Macomb, it'll be a little colder here since it's a little further north. Tonight, we'll have uh, right at freezing, 32 degrees, and the high temperatures for basically the whole entire week will be in the mid to upper 50s. The low temperatures will be 45 on Tuesday, but it'll drop significantly into the lower 30s, especially mid to late this week. We do have uh, freezing temperatures expected again starting Wednesday night through Friday, and it's quite possible that could go into the weekend. Temp uh, rain chance wise, again, Monday will be the best chance, near 80, 90% chance of rain. Clear again uh, late Tuesday into Wednesday, and then 10 to 20% chance rain starting Thursday through Sunday. Finally, I also have Gulfport here. Uh, temperatures will be in the 60s for tomorrow and Tuesday and it'll start to go down slightly to the upper 50s and then hit right around 60 again on Sunday. Low temperature tonight will be 38, but after this cool night, we'll have slightly warmer temperatures with it being in either the mid to high 30s or like right in the low 40s. Uh, chance of rain, again, Monday night is really where we're expecting the most rain with 80% chance Monday night 30% chance Tuesday morning. That should taper off in the afternoon and be clear on Wednesday. And then going into Thursday through Sunday will be the on off chances about 10 to 20% chance of rain. Finally, I just wanna take a few moments to talk about some cold safety. It's starting to get cold again here in the area. So we like to talk about the four P's of free safety. That's people, pets, plants, and pipes. First and most important is people, check in on your neighbors, friends, family, uh, loved ones, anyone that you would have concerns and make sure that they have somewhere safe and warm to stay for the night. Second, if you have any pets that are outside, remember if you're cold, they're going to be cold too. Just uh, do everyone a favor and take them inside for the night. Next up will be plants. If you have any sensitive plants that are vulnerable to freezing, best to take them in. You can also cover them if it's near freezing around 30 to 32. And finally, this last one's more for hard freezes, but 
This also works. This is also important for anyone who has exposed pipes, which that is quite a few of us here. Uh, take a moment to cover your pipes if they are exposed. If it's going to be a hard freeze, make sure you have a very like very small drip uh, indoors to make sure pipes don't freeze and they don't blow and cause bigger mess. And that's all I have for this week. Thank you and have a good week. You can follow us on Twitter on, or on Facebook. It's NWS New Orleans, all one word. And you can always get the latest forecast at our website at www.weather.gov slash New Orleans.